one way to understand the various types of throat singing is by thinking about the areas where it feels like the sounds are originating from the most. In Kargara, it's felt mostly in the belly and in the chest. In Sigut, it's felt mostly in the sinus and the tongue performs most of the action in changing the overtones. In Hume, it's felt in the upper chest and in the throat. So it's really the one most aptly called throat singing because the position of the larynx, if you can see that moving up and down, uh, and this triangular area underneath your jawbone is what performs most of the action in changing the overtones. Now, from a single fundamental, you should be able to derive a number of different overtones. So, what I'm going to attempt to do is illustrate that, and um, what I want you to understand while I'm doing it is that for the lower tones, this part of the throat of the chin drops down. All of this comes down and the tongue position is in the lower part of the mouth. Uh, as we move up to the middle range, the tongue moves to the middle of the mouth in between the teeth, which should be slightly parted, okay? Uh, and this part is essentially at rest. The, the larynx is about at its normal resting position. And then when you move into the higher tone, the tongue moves up closer to the roof of the mouth, but not touching like in Sigut. Um, and this part moves up somewhat. Um, and you should be able to hear three distinct levels of tones. And then those tones are changed by moving the tongue backward and forward in the mouth from that position. So I'll start from low and move to high. Now when we go to the higher one, I find that moving more from an O to an ER sound amplifies it. I'm still using the same fundamental tone, uh, but the position is what changes which harmonics I bring out. Hopefully that sheds some light on it. Thanks for watching.